All right, Victoria, I'm going to put you in the Hollywire hot seat. Are you ready? I'm totally ready. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> read the book or see the movie? Um, read the book. Go to karaoke song. That's Life by Frank Sinatra. Okay, nice. Uh, nerdiest obsession. What's something you geek out over? I don't know if it's necessarily nerdy, but I love I love like going to secondhand stores mm -hmm. and finding like, like cool yeah like nice. vintage stores and stuff. I love that. There's a lot of them in LA too. Yeah, a lot of good ones. Um, go to comfort food. Rice and beans and chicken. I'm nice. half Puerto Rican, so we do. It's a tradition every Friday in my house that we do. Nice. Definitely very comforting. My grandma comes over, who's 94. Grandma <laughs> Libby, I love Shout you. Shout out to grandma. Wow. <laughs> what color is the dress? Okay, so when people started talking about this, I was like. What is going on? Right? I, I had no I idea. I was wants. so out of the loop. Yeah. Um, and then I saw the picture. For me, it was it was blue and black. Okay, me too. Team blue yeah. and black. Team, team, team blue, blue and black. black. All the way. You other weirdos. I don't know. I'm Gold. Just <laughs> Gold and white. No. I'm just kidding. I don't um, know. <laughs> uh, first celebrity crush. Aaron Carter. Aaron Carter. Yes. Aaron's party. Aaron's party. And nobody do it like Aaron can. <laughs> Oh, Amazing. Love that song. How about most embarrassing outfit you wore in the show Victorious? I remember there was an episode where I was working at this frozen yogurt place uh -huh. and I had to wear this like hideous like purple yogurt weird oh, costume no. and I was like frightening kids in the mall <laughs> and I had like this weird blonde wig. I looked like a character out of like the Hunger Games like gone wrong. <laughs> that was fun. That was weird. Good times. Yeah. <laughs> Biggest lesson you've learned this year? I think sometimes like in life we strive for perfection and like strive to like fix the problem all the time mm -hmm. and I think a lot of times like you can't you have to like let go of that I, I it's our nature it's human nature to if you find something that you feel like is wrong with you or a way that you're lacking you're like well how do I fix this how do I fix this and you'll keep telling yourself like this isn't good enough this is good enough and at the end of the day you have to I think let that go let go of trying to fix yeah. everything and just be kind to yourself and just like practice this thing called radical acceptance. I, that's great. Yeah. See, you got a good last year. <laughs> um, most prized possession? I mean, it's a big possession, but does, like, does my house count? Yeah, of course. I love my house. <laughs> I love my pool. I love, it's like the perfect family that's house. That's awesome. How about weirdest rumor you've ever heard about yourself? Probably that I was the reason that Victorious was canceled. Oh yeah. That and it, because people were saying because I was selfish and because I went on a solo tour, which First of all, I, had, I did go on a solo tour, that's definitely true, but that had nothing to do with the show not getting picked up again, and people were mad at me saying that I was the reason why a Victorious tour didn't happen, and again, not the reason that that didn't happen. Yeah. There were actually, you know, other people that didn't necessarily want to go on a Victorious tour either that wanted to do their own music, which is perfectly understandable, so that's a big rumor. It's a rumor. Three things you do on a day off. Sleep in. Definitely love to sleep. Go out for sushi. Nice. Like read and nice. like binge watch a new TV show or something. Uh, what TV show are you into right now? Are you I just Netflix? started watching. Yeah, um, I just started watching The Affair. Oh, nice. Secret talents. Do you have any? I feel like they're not so secret anymore. <laughs> I've I've done. I I I have like weird control over my eyebrows. Okay. Or like. <laughs> like can arch them because I guess most people can only arch one. Yeah, I don't. But like I can, I can mega arch both and like make them wiggle and I can pick things up with my toes. Uh, they're all out there. All the talents yeah, are out that's there. Pretty legit. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> um, how about go to dance move? I don't know. I kind of like when I'm at parties, I guess I, I kinda of like do the go to two the step snap, and snap the, yeah. you know, or like I'll like do this kind of like hippie like I like to have my hands in the air. Nice. And why should everyone tune in on Mondays MTV Eye Candy? Tell them. I think you should tune in to MTV uh, MTV's Eye Candy on Mondays at 10 because, I don't know, I think it's a really good show. I'm really proud of it. I think if you like being scared or being freaked out or grossed out, um, this is definitely the show for you. It's suspenseful. It'll keep you on the edge of your seat and keep you guessing. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for being here. It's thank good to see you. you. It's good to see you too. And I'll see you soon, I'm sure. Hey, I'm Victoria Justice, and you're watching Hollywire TV.